Hello! In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make crispy samosas. These are very yummy and taste just like the store-bought ones. Yeah, and they are also very crispy as well. I will also be showing you two methods of making them, very easy methods. And one is a healthy method because it doesn't contain as much oil. Also, please make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. The ingredients are 3 cups of boiled cubed potatoes, 1 cup of zucchini, it is optional, 2 onions that have been chopped, 3 green chilies that have also been chopped, curry leaves, 1 teaspoon of paprika, 1 teaspoon of salt, and 1 teaspoon of crushed chilies. You can use more crushed chilies if you want. 1 and a half teaspoons of cumin seeds, 1 and a half teaspoons of crushed coriander, 1 tablespoon of oil, and spring roll wraps, you'll need tw around 20, and those are all the ingredients. So, first in a pot, I'm going to put in my oil. I'm using coconut oil, oil here, but you can use any. Now I'm going to add in my curry leaves and you want to fry this. By the way, I'm doing this on medium heat. Now I'm going to add in my cumin, coriander, and then I'm just going to mix this in. Okay, so after you fried it for a bit, add in your onion, then mix this well. So now I'm going to add in my crushed chilies and paprika. You can also use hot pepper. Um, so now I'm going to add in my green chilies. Also, you can add in more crushed chilies if you want it to be more spicier. Now add in your salt and mix this in well. So after a few minutes, it's darker in color. I'm going to add in my potatoes. Now mix this in gently. You can use two spoons here because um, it might be a little bit full and hard to mix. So you can use two spoons and just mix it well. Now I'm going to put on the lid. So I left this for around two minutes and I just took off the lid and I'm just gonna give it a quick mix. So now I'm gonna add in my zucchini. The zucchini is optional, but it tastes much better with the zucchini. So I would recommend you putting it in. But now I'm just going to mix this in. By the way, I grated the zucchini. So I put the lid on one last time for a few minutes. And now I'm going to use my spoon and just a little bit smush it. Um, not too much. So this is what it should look like right now. Okay, so now I'm going to make some pa a paste. So I'm just gonna add in one tablespoon of flour and one fourth of a cup of water. Add in your water slowly um, until it gets to uh, the right consistency. But this is just gonna be used to stick the spring roll wraps together later on. Okay, so now take your spring roll wrap, fold it in half, then make a triangle like this, 
then fold the top left corner to the top right corner and it should look like this and then take your paste that you made right now and just put it on the bottom triangle and then fold it up you want to do this tightly with no holes or else oil can leak in now you want to open the little pocket kind of looks like an ice cream cone and you should have like a triangle at the top and you want to take your curry and you want to put it inside of the pocket or the cone that you've made push it in so that you get a lot in and like this then once you got it full take more of the paste and then close the ends shut make sure the corners are fully closed or like I said oil can get in and then there's little flaps so you can also put these glue these uh, down with the flour water paste so yeah that's all there is to making the samosas right now so just do this to all of your samosas so again fold it in half then fold it into a triangle like this take the top left corner fold it to the top right and you should have like a square and then put the flour water paste fold it over tightly so that there is no holes then open the pocket so it looks like an ice cream cone with the triangle and then fill it in fill it in as much as you can but with a little bit of space so that you have more room to fold it over then take the flour water paste and put it on the triangle and tightly close it again with no holes then if there's anything that is open you can close that shut as well and yeah once you get the hang of it it's really easy to do just do the one by one Okay, so now I'm done. I'm going to add in some oil. So this is the first method of making it. I'm going to take the oil and deep fry this. So you can put multiple in and just put them in like this. Keep flipping them until they have golden brown uh it looks like this and it should like get like more golden and brown in color just keep flipping it like this Okay, so now when it looks like this, you want to drain the oil. And that is the first method. And this method made it really yummy um, and crispy. Um, and yeah. As you heard, it was very crispy, just like store-bought ones. And it also tastes just like store-bought ones. So that was the first method. The second method is using an air fryer. So this is a the healthier alternative. But if you're doing this, you can add oil if you want to. Just use a brush and brush on a little bit of oil of your choice. But yeah, just do this to all of them. But you can do it without oil if you want to. Brush them on both sides. You don't need too much. So 
So now it looks like this. So now I'm going to put this in the air fryer for five minutes. And we wanna do this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So after five minutes, this is what it looks like. You can check on this and see what type, what how crispy you want it to be and put more time accordingly. So I put it for 10 more minutes. Um, you can also freeze it and I'll leave uh, tips in the description box below. So check the description box. And this is what it looks like after 15 minutes. As you see, it's really golden brown and it's tastes really good tastes the same as the first method and it is but it's still healthier thank you so much for watching subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you in my next video bye